Welcome back to a new AI video. In this video, we are going to create an AI web app using Streamlit and Langchain. We are going to have a helpful assistant on web where we can ask any type of questions. You can see the final version of the app from the screen right now. Let's start coding. I'm in VS Code interface right now. You can use any code editor that you want. It's completely up to you. And for our Streamlit web app, we are going to create a file. I'm going to name it as app.py. It's going to be a Python file. Then I want to create an outline on this video. So in the first step, we are going to do, let's write like first step, basic streamlit template. So we are going to code it. And in the next step, we are going to do set the API key. And in the final step, code the AI web app. So these are going to be our steps. And I want to show you the versions that I'm using on Streamlit and Langchain. You can install this version if codes are not working on you. So it's going to be helpful on making sure about the codes are working. So in the Streamlit, I'm using 1241. In the Langchain, I'm using 0 to 12. So how we can install that? On Mac, you just need to type pip instead of, I'm sorry, on Windows, you need to write pip instead of pip3, pip3, install, and you need to write the version like Langchain 0 to 12. And in Windows, you just need to write pip install Langchain 0 to 12. Same for the Streamlit, by the way. You need to type Streamlit in here, then the version that you want to install. Great. So let's start with creating our app template. So I will say import Streamlit as ST. Then I will say Streamlit title, and I'm going to give it a title like AI web app. And, and then I'm going to say Streamlit.write, enter your prompt and get a helpful response. And I'm going to say, let's use a divider between these two. I like using dividers a lot when I'm coding in Streamlit. And now I'm going to say Streamlit divider, but I'm not going to use a divider before the text input. So I will say prompt is going to be Streamlit text input. And we are going to say something like your prompt. And then I'm going to say if prompt so this basically means that if somebody enters something in the text input, then this if will work. So I will say streamlet.write and I will say you enter it. And it's just for the testing prompt. Also, we can add something as streamlet.balloons. It's going to be a little animation on that side. And now I'm going to be deleting these two. They're unnecessary. And here is our basic Streamlit template. So I will be saving this file right now. Then I'm going to be opening the terminal and I will say, I'm going to clear all of them from here. And I will say Streamlit, let me delete that correctly. Streamlit run app.py, the name that you created in here. So if you created the file with a different name, you need to enter this name in the app.file section. And when you make it run, you are going to have a new page opened on your browser. If it's not, you can just copy this local URL in here and paste it in the browser for getting the app that we are currently creating. I will be re-recording at this URL in my browser in a second. So here is our template and I'm going to write something like help me on doing, let's say something like this. And we can see it's working. We got the little balloon effect and we see that you enter it, help me doing blah, blah. And let's say ABC, it doesn't matter. And it's working smoothly. Now we can move with the next step. So I will be closing this terminal right now. And our next step is going to be, let's read it. Next step, set the API key. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my OpenAI API key for that you can visit the OpenAI API Playground website and get your API key. When you create your account, they gift you $5 of balance. 
like I'm going to say OpenAI API Playground, like something like this. Let me correct the typo. And when you visit that website or type this in Google, you are going to find the website easily. You can get your API key from there. It's free to generate an API key and for the model usage, they are gifting $5, which is more than enough for this video. So after getting an API key, it's going to be something like SK123. It's going to be a thing like this. What you need to do is you need to open the terminal and then you are going to say export and you will say OpenAI API key and you are going to set it like this. You need to enter your API key in here, then you are going to be able to use the OpenAI models. I'm not going to show you mine, but the free balance on the OpenAI account is going to be more than enough. We are going to spend around 10 or 15 cents maximum in the story. So I will be pasting my key and clearing this terminal outputs, then I will be re-recording for the final step we have. Okay, next step is going to be coding the AI web app. So this is going to be the the complex part of this video, but it's going to be not that complex. I'll be talking about what we are doing in the tutorial. So I'm going to start by saying from link chain, import prompt template and large language model chain. And next up, I will say from link chain dot large language models, import open AI. And now in the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say we are not going to have anything with the template. We are going to be using in the if side, we will say like, let's delete this one actually and start coding after that. So I will say large language model is going to be firstly, we are going to be setting by our open AI large language model. We initialized our large language model like this. Then I will say template and it's going to be our prompt template in the next step. We are going to create the prompt template object with this. I will say you are a helpful assistant and then I'm going to say user prompt. We are going to give something like this and I will say answer this prompt in this way. So you can say anything in here like you can say you're a teacher you're a doctor you can specify this app like this if you say you are a doctor it's going to act like a doctor if you say you are a teacher it's going to act like teacher and anything that you enter now i'm going to set prompt template and it's going to be prompt template we are going to use that and input variables are going to be user prompt and template is going to be the template we specified like this and i'm going to close this it needs to be in here now in the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my chain like large language model chain is going to be large language model chain prompt is going to be prompt template and large language model is going to be the large language model that we just initialized. And now we can generate the response like response. We are going to do large language model chain and we are going to run this chain. Then we will say user prompt is going to be, actually we don't need to specify, we can directly give the prompt in here. So next up we will say streamlet that right. And let's say like assistant and let's give our response like this and the app is ready so i'm going to be talking about it quickly then i'm going to be talking about when i finish the video after using this app too so we import prompt template large language model chain and open ai from line chain and we didn't change anything in the upper side in here we initialized open ai we create the template again you can specify this like you can, you're a doctor or anything and then we create the prompt template in here and we create the chain. We are running the chain in here and we are displaying the response. By the way, I have tutorials about all of the concepts like chains, prompt templates. You can check my channel. 
if you don't know these topics. So I will be saving my streamlet file right now. And then again, I will be saying streamlet run app.py. So again, you can visit this website for reaching to our app. I will be re-recording in the apps page in the browser. So here is our app. Let's test it. Let's say like I am going to visit the London. Where should I visit in London? And let's see our response. I would recommend visiting popular attractions such as Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London and Big Ben. You may also want to explore the bustling streets of Covent Garden or take a ride on the London Eye for stunning views of the city. Don't forget to try some traditional fish and chips and browse through the markets at Camden Town for a true London experience. Great! So it's working smoothly. Let's try something else. I am going to cook some pasta. I need help with the receipt. And let's see what's going to be our response. Sure, I will be happy to assist you with the receipt. What kind of pasta are you planning to cook? Do you have all necessary ingredients and equipment? Let me know and I will be guide you through the steps of the receipt. So let's say like I'm going to cook some pasta. I need help with the receipt. I have the ingredients and equipment. It's going to be a basic one. And let's see what's going to be our response. It says, sure, I will be happy to assist you with your pasta receipt. First, make sure you have all the necessary ingredients and equipment ready. For a basic pasta receipt, you will need a pasta, noodles, water, salt, and your preferred sauce or toppings. As for equipment, you will need a pot for boiling water and a pan for heating up your sauce. So, define me step by step. Let's also try this one. And it's going to be step by step result. Yes, as we can see, now it looks more like a receipt. I'm not going to read all of them and let's talk about another topic like I'm going to ask for, I am going to buy a second hand car. What should I take care for? And we can ask like this and let's see if our AI web app is going to help in this way. When buying a second hand car, there are a few things you should take care of. First, make sure you do your research on the make and model you are interested in. Look into the car's history and maintenance records to ensure it has been well taken care of. Next, take the car for a test drive and truly inspect its exterior and interior for any damage and potential issues. It's also important to have a mechanic inspect the car before making a purchase. Finally, negotiate the price and make sure to have all necessary paperwork completed before finalizing the deal. So our AI app is working really really well and helping in every topic. So let's go to the VS code again and summarize the code, then we can finish this tutorial. So we started by defining our steps and then we import Streamlit as ST, we import prompt template and large language model chain from Langchain and we import OpenAI from Langchain.llms. Then we give a title, we use divider, we say enter your prompt and get a helpful response. We take Streamlit text input and if the user enters an input, we display balloons, then we initialize our large language model, we create a template for our prompt template object and then we create our prompt template object with the input variables of user prompt which is going to be dynamically added from here then we create our chain with the prompt template and large language model we have then we run chain and display the response Thanks for watching this AI tutorial I have a playlist named Langchain and AI tutorials you can check that playlist for finding more videos like this also I'm sharing a new data science video every week on my channel you can subscribe to my channel for more videos have a great day